Hello again. Now, experts are concerned following the dismissal of cases against 23 of the 28 banks who have been accused of manipulating the RAND. The Competition Appeals Court has cited a lack of evidence. Pandits say this has exposed weaknesses in the efficacy of regulatory oversight within the banking sector. The Competition Commission lodged a complaint in 2015 alleging that various financial institutions colluded to rig the value of the rand against the U.S. dollar. Well, let's get some more reaction now. I'm joined by the CEO of Future Forex, Harry Shazza. Harry, good afternoon. Welcome to Today on ENCA, and thank you very much uh, uh, for your time. So the process by the Competition Appeals Court has caused some concerns among some of the stakeholders in your industry. What is your reaction to his decision? Hi, Dan. Thanks for having me on. And I think the biggest concern here is that the banks have been let off, not because they've been proven innocent, but rather that there wasn't evidence produced that they were guilty. And this shows more of a flaw in the ability of the Competitions Commission and their inability to build a sufficient case than it shows in the innocence of the banks. So it's a very favorable but somewhat misleading headline that uh, these banks have been cleared, these local banks, when in reality it's more because the case built against them was so poorly constructed that it couldn't even get off the ground. So there's nothing to suggest that these banks were innocent, rather that their prosecuting authority was too weak to ensure that they were uh, made to be tried effectively. In other words, are you saying there is still room or the scope of proper investigation to take place uh, going forward, that the story should not end here, so to speak? 